Hey guys, it's Justine, and I just wanted to say I love you guys. Happy New Year if I haven't wished you one already. Welcome to the new year. And to start this new year off right, I thought that I would do a completely, totally unique video. No one else is doing this. You'll never see another video like this one on the internet, especially today. It is my first cell phone. I actually had been planning on doing this video for a pretty long time, so I had to order all of the accessories on eBay because the battery was completely shot. You guys are gonna find this kind of crazy, but I basically refused to have a phone because I hated talking on the phone so much when I was younger and the only thing that really got me into the phone was when I was text messaging so the phones that I had previous to this one were my parents phones so my mom gave me her hand-me-down razor flip phone that she had and then there was the Samsung phone that I had that was also my parents and I was looking it up trying to find it it was similar to this but it was a gold color like this one so I'm pretty sure this was like the phone but this is what it looked like also when it was folded I remember I had like this little cord on it so that I would never drop it it. Never drop it. Yeah. Okay. But this was the first one that I bought with my very own money. I went on my own plan. I hopped off the family plan. This is the Palm Trio. I think it was like the Palm Trio 750, if I recall. So this was released in January of 2007. It says the internal memory is 128 megabytes. <laughs> 300 megahertz Samsung processor, 240 by 240 touch display. That was probably one of the coolest things is being able to have a touch display coming from these older phones that I just didn't care. Like I didn't like talking on the phone. I absolutely hated it. But this had a stylus and this stylus here. <laughs> I'll never forget when I was watching the keynote when Steve Jobs announced the original iPhone and he was talking about who needs a stylus? Yes, yeah, Steve, who does need a stylus? Absolutely nobody. But let's take a look at this phone. So you've got your headphone jack, you've got your charging ports here, the stylus docking station, and we've got our camera, which I thought was also interesting here is it had like this little mirror here so you would be able to see yourself when you were taking a picture. This thing has absolutely, I mean, this has been through a lot of things. This was my baby. It was also crazy because I've been on Twitter for an extremely long time and it's interesting because back in the day, Twitter was basically made to just be usable from text messages. Like you would text Twitter. Like probably on here I have a thread of me texting Twitter. Like that's how you would tweet. You didn't go to the web. There wasn't a Twitter app. You texted Twitter. And the reason that Twitter was originally 140 characters is because the SMS limit back in the day was 160 characters. So they wanted to give you enough space to be able to send your tweet, but also enough space for your username. So that's kind of the reason behind the whole 140 characters, which is kind of interesting because a lot of people don't even know that. So if you didn't know that, leave a comment below. And if you did know that, I guess also leave a comment below. But I'm about to boot this up. I did manage to get it working before, but that was, oh my gosh, that was probably like eight months ago when I thought about doing this video. And I wanna show you guys where the battery goes. Pop this open. I don't even know where the battery is, to be honest with you. But the one that was in here didn't work, so I just disposed of it properly. Volume button's here, power button, and of course, very nice <laughs> crack here. Some of my first videos too, I was kind of making fun of the stylus. You might remember this video, and if you don't remember it, just disregard the next few seconds. Is that my stylus? Did I just find your stylus? Why do you have my stylus? It's so crazy how fast time can just pass you by. And just looking at this phone and then holding it up next to this iPhone, it's kind of overwhelming. It's crazy to think that this phone I probably got around 2007, like my entire existence, my whole life is so completely just different. I was still living in Pittsburgh where I had just moved to San Francisco at that point. Holy moly, it's turning on already. Okay, what is this saying to me? What are you saying? My battery is almost empty. Well, but, because I don't freaking have a battery. What the heck is that background? Oh, I'm swiped. Okay, that doesn't clearly doesn't work. Preferences. Brightness. Okay. Is that better? I'm just gonna scroll through these contacts here real quick. This is some private scrolling time. Not for your eyes. These are all of my friends from college. Like this is so cool. Wow, I should go through here and text every single person from my phone and say, hey, do you do you remember me? Okay, I'm gonna show you an email. This is from Urban Outfitters. Hope you're enjoying it. So I used to have a blog, it was called tastyblogsnack.com. So here's an email from someone that says, I'm on Twitter, but no one will read it. I use Google Talk, what? Let's see what's in my downloads. Your phone is off. 
Do you like to turn it on? Uh, no. What about the camera? Wow, look at this camera. Obviously there's no front facing. Should I take a picture? Are you ready? Did I take it? <gasps> this is crazy. 149K. How am I gonna even get this to myself is the question. Okay, here I'm zooming in 2X. This little mirror thing is cool. Look at this, oh my gosh, oh my goodness. I'll save it. Oh my gosh, I'm making a video. Hey, hi, so this is a video from my Palm Trio. Let's have a flashback to 2007. Let's go into the messaging. Wow, hello. A happy new year from 1231, 2007. I've got some messages from people saying to call me. Should I call them? Someone asked me to go to breakfast. It's now time to look at some pictures and some videos. So here's the video that I just made. Do I have volume? Does this have a speaker? Do you work? So this is the last picture that I took on this phone. This looks like, I think, I'm not sure where this is actually. So it looks like this is from North Carolina. My family, we used to go to North Carolina all the time. Uh, this looks like a concert. No idea what this is, but it's someone, it's a boy. This is, oh my God, so I was on the kill point. I was an extra, so that's what that's from. San Francisco, oh my gosh, crazy mocha. Snakes on a plane. This was, oh my God, this was in, I think that this was in Justin TV's place, like their first office. Well, there's a great shot of me. Look at me, looking so dreamy. This was San Francisco. Oh, good look, good look. What are we doing? I don't know what we're doing. Oh, french fries, okay. All right. The hottest dog. This was, it looks like one of my first times in LA. There's this website called Groover that I used to use. It was kind of like a location-based social network. Oh, there we are. This is my friend Karen. Oh my gosh, this is so wild, reliving 2007. Let me see if there's anything that might be super scandalous that you guys might be into. Wait till you see this scandalous shot. <laughs> super scandalous. This is all a lot. Oh my gosh, it's Leo Laporte. This was from San Francisco. I believe this was um, for Macworld. I believe this actually was the time when they announced the iPhone. What is that? That's Starbucks. Yup, I can tell that cranberry bliss bar any day. Anything else is scandalous. I'm so not scandalous that it's obnoxious. It's me and Des. Oh wow, this is so great. I'm really enjoying making this video right now because it's kind of cool just to sort of look back and just see things. And remember, because I have a really bad memory, which is one of the reasons that I actually started vlogging in the first place, was to just kind of document the things that I've done and my friends, and mostly just to have a good time and be able to look back on it. Anyway, all jokes aside, this was such a fun video, and actually there are a bunch of other YouTubers that have been making videos about their first phones, so I'm going to try to collect all of those and put them all in the description below. So go say hi to all of the other people who made this video, and let me know in the comments below, what was your first phone? This was a really fun trip down memory lane. I want to go through and just look at some more of the photos and read some of my old text messages. I just kind of relive that era in time because it's really crazy that it was sort of before the first iPhone, but it was kind of like my first phone. Like this was my first big girl purchase. And then I moved to San Francisco and then I lived in LA. And I don't know what I was doing, to be honest with you. Like my parents told me that I shouldn't leave and I should stay home and I shouldn't move away, but I didn't listen. And I, I was trying to talk to my mom about it before. I was like, why did you, when did I, what did I say? Like, what did I say when I was moving? She's like, you just said that you were leaving and you left. And I remember I packed this hideous pink suitcase. I had a light that you may remember that caught on fire several times in the Linus video that I did. I basically moved across the country with one suitcase, my MacBook, that light, and I don't even know if I had a dream. I absolutely had no idea what I was doing. I moved here just because I had made one trip here and I was like, this is where I'm gonna move. And I did. 
And I think looking back at that, it was probably one of the biggest decisions of my life because I didn't really have a job. I was still making YouTube videos, but I had basically no income. Like the money that I was making was from design jobs, a little bit of kind of doing, not really sponsored stuff because it wasn't really a thing back then, I guess. We're talking like 2007-ish and it's really crazy just to see how all of Everything has changed myself you guys a lot of you have kind of grown up with me So it's really cool that a lot of you are still here So if you are new hello welcome to the family and if you've been here for a really long time That's incredible, and I love you and thanks for Just I don't know being here and watching and supporting because I do see you guys I read the comments I read Twitter I'm always on Instagram and I appreciate you so thank you for appreciating and supporting me and I will see you guys in the next video. CES is coming up, so look for some CES videos coming soon. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. And if you like this video, hit like. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go edit this video now. So I'll see you whenever I see you. Bye. I'll fall.